Let's take a brief tour of the Pro Tools software instruments. Let's start out first with Expand. Expand is a sound library or sound module, and it just has a bunch of sounds in it. So once you load it up, if you click here, you can see that there's a ton of instruments in all kinds of different categories. And you just click on them, load it, make sure it's unrecord enable. Hit the MIDI keys and it'll play back. So there's categories here. Here's strings and legato strings. These are synthetic ones. Basses. Tons more things in there. All instruments in big categories. You can also do things like load several instruments at the same time to combine them together. So this has the sound of the bass and this bright wide lead as well. Um, you can do things also like this. You can go to the arpeggiator it has on each of them. Click on and hit a chord. If I hit latch it'll stay there. So that's the basic idea of this thing. It's possible to also adjust parameters of the instrument to change some subtle things about them, the way they hit and they filter and so on and so forth. Next up is boom. And boom is a drum sequencer. It's a step sequencer. So it has all these little areas here where you can click in what you want to play. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna hit this default one it has, which is horrible. And you can see that you can either put the steps in down below or you can program them, program them in on this little grid. I'm going to go down, hit play. Then I can hit somewhere else. So I can enter things that way. I can actually clear this pattern completely, make my own pattern. So I'm going to go over here to pattern, edit mode. So I can just go in step by step to each of the different sounds, the kick, the snare, so on. And I can individually enter the patterns in for them. They're also going to appear up here. I can save a bunch of patterns, do a bunch of different things, but essentially I can piece by piece put in all the drums in little steps that represent the 16th notes of a full musical measure. So this is a drum step sequencer that allows you to do that. You can also play them in, in real time. So you can hit record on the track and actually play in real time on the keyboard and it'll record MIDI notes of it too. So that's boom. The DB33 is um, an organ emulation. Let's go ahead and enable that. And I can adjust the sound of it by changing these pipe lengths. The 
these top ones are going to add smaller little pipes. It says the length of them here. The bigger the pipe, the longer the pipe. Here, 16 is the long pipe, and it makes the lower sounds come through more. So if I want to have just a high pitch sound, I could take away these ones, kind of drag them up. Lower sounds, I add this in. It's kind of like a, a timbre mixer. So there are things you can do too, like you can have a vibrato on it. And turn that off. If you click on here on cabinet, it lets you actually pick the way the sound uh, is amplified, and that changes the way it sounds. Next up, we have mini grand, and it's what it sounds like. It's a mini grand piano. Let's go ahead and enable it. So on, so forth. So, piano sound. Um, you can do different things to it too. And change it to different types of sounds of pianos. Settings for the reverb that it's in. It's like the physical space it's in. Much smaller space here. This changes how it reacts to your keyboard. basic level of it. So, pretty simple grand piano emulation if you need piano parts. Next up is vacuum. And vacuum is an analog synthesizer emulation that tries to look like an old school one. Notice here it even has rust and stuff on these um, pieces of the modular instrument. It looks like it's in a, in a module case and it has various places where there's leakage and issues um, <laughs> with the hardware. So they try to emulate all that. It's based upon a vacuum tube analog synthesizer, which is why they call it vacuum. And this one's monophonic, meaning it only plays one note at a time. Let's go ahead and enable this one. Kind of a harsh sound. We can change its sound. And uh, I'm going to make it so only this first sound is coming through. It can produce two different sounds that combine together. This first one is on what's called a saw sound. You can go to triangle here. And as I move this around, it'll change to the different types of timbres. Saw, pulse width, that type of thing. Here on the left, it's going to be more mellow, be more hardcore on the right. And I can do the usual things with these. That type of thing. It's also got some other cool features, like it's got an arpeggiator in there too. So I can do that. Suffice to say, it's a basic emulation of one of them that has the main source of sound, filters, amplifiers, and modulation sources. This last thing here, Structure Free, is a very, very simple sampler. And that means it has its own sounds in it. It'll come with a patch loaded in. But you can also drag sounds into it and play them back. So there's no sounds at the moment. If I hit the community keyboard, you don't hear anything. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sound here. Some external sound file. I'm going to take it and drag it in there. It 
Now if I uh, play keys on the keyboard. So I can take any sounds that I created myself, recorded, brought in from the internet or whatever else, and I can stick them on here. And then it'll map them onto the keys of the keyboard. And I can just trigger them with my MIDI keyboard and play them back in real time.